June 2005, the Republic of Kenya became one of the 122 countries that have signed and ratified the Rome Statute, the founding treaty of the International Criminal Court. The prosecutor started investigations in Kenya in 2009. Four years later, two cases are awaiting trial at the court. The case against Mr. William Samoe Ruto and Mr. Joshua Arab Sang, and the case against Mr. Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta. The defense teams in both cases requested postponement of the beginning of the trials. These requests were granted by Trial Chamber 5. Mr. Ruto and Mr. Sang's trial is now scheduled to start on 28th May 2013. Mr. Kenyatta's trial is to start on 9th July 2013. In the second Kenyan case before the ICC, the judges decided to terminate proceedings against Mr. Mudaura following a notice filed by the prosecutor to withdraw charges. However, as the prosecutor herself has asserted, the case against Mr. Kenyatta will continue pending the resolution of procedural matters. The outcome of the March 2013 elections in Kenya has no bearing or influence on the proceedings at the ICC, which is an independent judicial institution. According to the Rome Statute, the head of state or any other government official shall not under any circumstances be exempt from criminal responsibility. Unless the judges decide otherwise, ICC trials take place at the seat of the court in The Hague and in the presence of the accused person. The defense teams requested that the trials be conducted in Kenya or alternatively in Tanzania, and Mr. Kenyatta's defense asked for the accused to participate in the trial via video link. A decision by the judges is expected on this issue. We ask Michael de la Grange, Associate Legal Officer in the Victims Participation and Reparation Section, if victims of the post-election violence will receive justice given the prosecutor's withdrawal of the charges against Mr. Muthara and how the victims can participate during trials. The cases against Mr. William Ruto, Mr. Joshua Sang, and against Mr. Uhuru Kenyatta are scheduled to start on 28 May and 9 July 2013, respectively, for the same charges as already confirmed by the pretrial chamber. The withdrawal of the charges against Mr. Muthaura will not affect victims' participation at trial. Victims who wish to participate will be able to do so in both the Ruto and Sang cases, as well as the Kenyatta case. Participation is an opportunity for victims to tell the ICC judges about the harm that they suffered as a result of the crimes being tried at the court, as well as how they continue to suffer as a result of those crimes. In order to avoid having victims travel long distances to The Hague, participation is done through a common legal representative appointed to represent their views and concerns in the courtroom in The Hague. Participation is free of charge. Now, the judges from Trial Chamber 5 have outlined a system for victims to participate at trial that is different from other situations before the court and different from the system that was utilized ahead of the confirmation of charges hearing in the two Kenya cases. The individual application form will no longer be necessary for victims seeking to participate at trial. In this new system, it will be the common legal representative who, with the help of the victim's participation reparation section, will be charged with facilitating victim participation by locating the relevant victims, and by relevant I mean those falling within the scope of one of the two cases, verifying their status, and taking the necessary information to be submitted to the registry. Once this has been done, the common legal representative will then be charged with relaying the views and concerns of the victims to the ICC judges at the appropriate moments during the trials. Those interested in participating can find more information at the website and may contact the VPRS directly.